Welcome back to Resident Evil Revelations 2. Let's continue on to the cliff top. It's so exciting when I see these relatively wide open spaces because I know there's so many secrets. Or at least potential secrets. This must be the way into the mine. Barry, there's a facility down below. I think that's where we'll find her. Is your memory coming back? It's hard to describe. I don't remember this place, but it feels like I've been here. Well, it's okay. These things take time. Don't push yourself. Half a year of chasing scraps. I won't stop until I have all the answers. What's with the color of this? Oh, it's from the light. <laughs> it's like, why is it so red? Probably not where we're supposed to go. Bonuses? Hmm. there'd be a one around here. She Wesker, all right. Don't you worry. Together, we're stronger than her.
Poisonous gas warning. Poisonous gases are being emitted from the nearby fault lines. Brief exposure poses no health risk, but prolonged exposure leads to difficulty breathing and eventually a loss of consciousness, potentially followed by death. Take precautions and be mindful of your exposure, uh, exposure time while working. I really need to clear out some inventory space. Um, let's see. Oh, what? I guess I'll use the claw. Disinfectant? I'm not actually sure if that cleared up any inventory space. Yeah, I think it did. Sure, you're up to it. All right. Yeah, it says we're fine with brief exposure. I mean, they did fine. Hold your breath as long Ooh. as you can. You don't want this crap in your lungs. Okay. <laughs> oh my god, that looks so silly. I try to make it look like, you know, they're moving as you brush past, which kind of works if you just, like, run past them. But if you actually look at them, they do not look right. Okay, hold on. Did I miss something back here? <laughs> just look at him. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> That butt wiggle. Trust him. Go, 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 go. Oh, fuck. Looks painful. Barry! Let's try this again. Oh, the jump's gone.
should open up the electronic... Electronically locked gate, or whatever that was over here. Oh, no room. Oh, it's before I use the cloths. Got an empty bottle, too. Coil level two, and that's it. Um, what would that be good on? I'm assuming the sniper rifle, although again, I like never use it, but that probably would be very good for it. Yeah, let's go with that. Oh, oh, it's got. Oh, I just realized there's a compatibility list down there in the bottom left where it says what it does. Works on the machine pistol, assault rifle, and magnum. Huh. Did that include this? Oh, I've already got one on it. Well, I guess I'll take the better one. Alright, guess I'll put it on the magnum. This card. elevator might be our ticket down. But it looks like we haven't paid the fare. Oh. No, I don't like it. If that was like a whole thing, then what's this way? Gotta get it. A thousand bips. That's a ventilation system. If we can get it working, it might clear out the gas for us. Okay. Well, this looks pleasant. Do we have to go through this to clear out the gas? Or do we need to clear out the gla gas to really do much down here? I don't know. I'm going to pre-shoot them, though. Hmm. 
me, I saw you. Can't play dead. I hear one nearby. Might be like below us. safe up here? Oh, okay. Yeah, this isn't too big of a deal. Maybe I, maybe I should use my assault rifle. Yeah, I'm going to. Got so much ammo for it again. Alright, so we got electronic lock, so we need to open that somewhere. Any secrets down here? Natalia? Natalia? Ha! Oh, come on, you lifted a generator, Natalia. You can't do that. I'm surprised. Can Barry do that? I think it just keeps going and going. I think we better grab a breath of air here. Minecart's full of body parts. Yeah, it is. Ooh. Need your help. Need your help. That's a bit dangerous. I think we should come back to that when we've cleared out the gas. Oh wait, I didn't go that way, did I? Ah. Please be safety over here. Yes. Oh, thank God. What is that, Magnum? Ooh, that hurt. Okay, uh, Magnum Python. Switch it from Python. Python. Magnum Python, switch it for a Magnum 2005M. 
I mean, <laughs> just going by how things typically go, it's probably faster firing but less damage. It certainly looks smaller, but take it anyway and then switch it back and we'll check it in the uh, workbench. I hope this is all leading to turning on the thing for the gas and all that, and I'm not just like continuing the main way. Oh boy! Oh, it's one of those again! Sorry, Natalia, but I'm going for the ads. Am I just dead? Ooh! What am I looking at? <laughs> okay. Alright, so we got an insta-death there. I didn't know those things did that. Let's keep our distance. Oh wow, two shots? Well, that cleared out a lot of my ammo. for secrets. 
lots of places for hidden emblems. Oh god. The way it gets up is disgusting. Really disgusting the way it gets up. Ugh. Sweet, sweet fresh air. Well, with that done, we can safe. Uh. Barry? Wow, that was. It worked. We can get through <laughs> now. That was quite a delay. I clicked on the door, and then Barry was stuck there, and I couldn't move for like five seconds. You okay going through this door, Barry? It only sucked it out of the main room, not here. Alright, then we're gonna have to be fast. Getting that one with Natalia. So... Was this way. Here we go. Oh my god, it's got three. Go, 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 go. Get out of here. Let's check out that customization kit. What was it? Capacity level three. Oh yeah, right. The Magnum 2005M. One of the most powerful magnums, difficult to reload, and limited customization. Yeah, it's only got one customization slot. Oh, I think it actually does way more damage. Let's take those off. Oh my god, look at that. It does 1100 versus 700, that's huge. 
It says difficult to reload. I don't really know what that means. I guess just a slow reload? Capacity is the same and the firing rate's actually faster. That is by far worth it. It's not like you have to reload a magnum very much. You barely have any ammo for it. So, switch. There we go. Well, that thing's getting damaged. Uh, hold on. It doesn't actually get a huge damage increase. Like, I feel like it's not nearly as big as the Python got. From 1100 to 1350. So it gains 250 damage. I mean, that's definitely significant, but... I wonder if they kind of capped it. They didn't want it to do too much damage. Hmm. Well, guess I'll put, like, recoil on that, and then... How does the damage do for the sniper? Because this thing was actually really good. 500, and with damage 4, it does 650. Alright, I'm going to leave it on the sniper rifle. What do I give the capacity to? Sniper rifle? Sure. So, we still need the card. What was up here again? Is this the way I went before? I think it was. Or no. No, that's the way I went. What's this way? Well, we can push that thing. Um, I'm not sure what the point would be. Maybe there's like a crack in the wall. Looks like there might be. There's something ahead. Be careful. All right, let's try to push that. I think Natalia can get through there. God, I hate that. That's for. Oh, it's to get up there, isn't it?
Just stay there. Okay. Mine Worker's Diary 1. February 11th. I, mine worker number 16. I'm finally getting a chance to work for a benefactor down in the mining facility. Gonna be rolling in the big bucks now. I had no idea until they hired me, but apparently they're making pharmaceutical products down on the lower levels. You gotta have a permit to even go down there, and security seems pretty tight. Must be some pretty important stuff going on down there. She's got her own staff working in the research facility, but there are also some of us islanders working for her as well. Everyone who works directly under her gets a nice fat paycheck. The money, the status, who wouldn't want that? But lately, they've been bringing a lot of new people in. They're not particularly smart or useful, it's just that they need people by the dozens. I've seen a lot of people go in, but no one comes out. I guess there must be another exit somewhere down there, right? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, everyone is so clueless. Ah, the key. Follow me. Right. Why does Wesker have it in for you? I don't know. I only talked to her for a little while before I got really sleepy. And I guess the answers will have to come from her. Well, this looks like a boss arena. Ugh. That's one nasty bowl of soup. Bet you there's a secret behind one of these pillars. What do you bet? What? Invisible wall. Huh, I guess not. Located. It needs authentication. Guess we're out of luck. Nah, don't worry. We'll walk back there and a boss will come out of that soup. We're good. I think I've seen this machine before. Oh. Natalia? Can I try the machine too? <laughs> Record located. Access granted. Natalia, how did you... I don't know. She's a copy of Alex Wesker or something. Or at least has her DNA, I suppose. To be able to get through that scanner thing. Well, I think this is a pretty good place to end this episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to go deeper down and try to find Alex.